So let's move on to the last thing. The last thing is what I really, really, really wanted to get into, child. And that was Masika on the No Jumper podcast with Sharp, because I made some notes. So this is what my notes say. He calls it the sharpest, coolest podcast. First of all, that's lame as fuck to keep saying that. It's the sharpest, coolest podcast. Like, it's real lame, okay? He, he says he didn't know who she was. When he said that, I was like, he's already trying to um, degrade her, meaning that he's trying to. Yeah, he's a former pimp. Right. Yes, it's Voodoo Doll TV. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I was watching her video and she did a really good breakdown of his this interview, which led me to, you know, watch it. Right. Because I was just going to watch the end like she did. But I was like, let me go sit down and watch this shit. And I just I picked out certain things. So when he he says he didn't know who she was, I was like, he's already starting the process off by trying to degrade her, right? I don't know who you are. That's supposed to make her feel bad about herself that he doesn't know who she is. Um, it's the way he just throws it out there. It's very intentional. Um, he says that he would have thought that she was ugly by her voice. These are all things like that kind of are insults. And he's automatically insulting her like off rip. We haven't even said anything. And he's already saying he didn't know who she was, but he thought she was ugly based off of her voice. Masika talks about wanting her daughters to be self-sufficient, but also know how to let a man lead. Masika, baby, please wake up from the Jesus juice. Please wake the fuck up. I wish you would wake up. You can have God and not have the Jesus juice patriarchal mindset that none of this shit is in a Bible, but because of the way you've been taught, you think that this is in the Bible. And so when you say these things, you feel like it's coming from a religious standpoint and it's really not, which lets me know that you're just, you're just regurgitating what you've been told. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you're very smart, but you're not smart when it comes to that. And I need you to go do some, some like go, Go do some research on history. The way you do research on stocks because it makes you money, you should go do some research on history so that you can elevate your mindset for raising your daughters because you are going to bend them into a fucking pretzel telling them to let a man lead but also take care of yourself. Those are two um, opposing ideologies that you're raising your daughter to have. That's why we have such a hard time with this shit. Right. Because it doesn't make any sense. You either want her to be taken care of by a man and you raise her to be what a man wants her to be. Or you raise her to think for herself and take care of herself like you should want her to do so that a man doesn't come along and take advantage of the fact that she's looking for somebody to take care of her. So the idea that you want to teach her to be self-sufficient, but then also teach her how to allow a man to, a man to lead. Yeah, you you gonna, you already setting your daughters up to be bending themselves into a fucking pretzel for some niggas image. OK, so he kept interrupting her like he didn't care about what she was saying. The whole interview, it was as if he just wanted an opportunity to pontificate and impart how he feels about women and about the things that women do. Like, just get a podcast and talk about topics. Don't interview people so that you can like browbeat them with your wayward, wayward pimp 101, you know, mentality. Like, get the fuck out of here. Okay. He says, when women go to school, they're either there to get an education and a man or to prove that they don't need a man. And I'm like, I did not go to college to prove I didn't need a man. That's not why I went to college. I went to college because that's what my parents told me I should do so that I could take care of myself when I became an adult. Y'all, I really wasn't raised to find some man to save me, even coming from a two parent household. It was not a part of my upbringing to be prepared to take care of a man. I was just being shown that by my parents relationship. But that wasn't a part of our dialogue. That wasn't a part of the dialogue that we were having. 
I was told to go to school so that I can make something of myself so that I can take care of myself. It's really narcissistic for you to think that women go through four years, eight years of hard work in university to prove they don't need a man. What? That's not even what we were thinking about. What's wrong with you? This is how you know that everything they think about has something to do with the woman. So they think anytime we're doing something, we're doing the same thing that they're doing. And we're really not. Like y'all have to train us to do that. <laughs> y'all have to like indoctrinate us in order to do that. But a lot of times women be minding their business somewhere and niggas is like making up shit in their mind. <laughs> it's so great they do it online all the time you know they see a woman somewhere and they make up a scenario in their fucking minds and then comment it in the comments they do it to me all the time assume that my opinion means i don't have a man means i must have some kids that i can't take care of um it must mean i didn't have a father all of those things fucking furthest from the truth <laughs> But they assume and, and create these delusions in their minds whenever, you know, someone says something disagreeable, they create something that's happening in their mind. So when people try to act like women are the only delusional ones, that is so not true. Women are only delusional because they're under a nigga's delusion. <laughs> Usually it's something that's been fed to them, not something they've come up with on their own. I promise you, nothing about life as a young black girl makes you feel like shit's going to be easy for you. Like, I don't I don't know where people get that from. Probably something they made up in their minds. Anyway, um, she says that, you know, black people really need therapy and he makes it seem as if she's talking bad about black people. I was like, oh, wow. So now, you know, because she was like, you know, black people really need therapy. This is because we were enslaved. This is because for some reason, it's so hard for everybody to understand when your great, great, great grandmother and grandfather were enslaved people, they didn't have any autonomy. And the only way they knew how to get children to do something was through the ways they were taught during slavery, which was with violence and brutality, which is why in our childhoods, we were beat when we didn't do something correctly instead of somebody having the patience to sit down and talk to us. Do you know why your parents don't have the patience to sit down and talk to you? Because they usually have to work very, very hard in order to give you even a portion of what white people are getting easily, which upsets them, but it's also something that they have to do. So they also have less patience to think about better ways to parent you because of all of the societal factors that cause them to not have the patience for it. They have too much to think about and consider. White people have had the luxury to really study child rearing. Those are the ones that write the books and all of that. Like, they have the time to sit and observe things. And when they have the ability to sit and observe things, they can come to better conclusions about how to handle things moving forward. Black people coming from slavery to reconstruction, to civil rights, to, you know, and Jim Crow, and, and then the 80s and drugs, and, and then after that, the fucking 90s and drugs, and, and, and the pandemic. Child, when have any of our family had the, the time, money, and the space to sit and observe our behavior in order to critically think about what we should keep and what we should leave where it's at in the past. Black people are just now economically having the space to sit and fucking think, to sit and, and, and observe things. And of course, there have been black people in history that have been observers and have written books. Of course, y'all know what I'm saying. But as a whole, as a whole, okay? Do you know what white people were doing in the 30s, 40s, and 50s? The men were working and the women were at home and black people, black women, were taking care of their homes. They still didn't have a lot to do. I'm telling you. People just don't understand it clearly. So they don't understand that when somebody says black people need therapy the most, it's not shade to black people. It is an acknowledgement of the continued abuse 
that we've been subjected to. It's, it is a recognition of the continued brainwashing and indoctrination that we've had to go through over all of these generations in order for our minds to think the way they do now. These are that when people say y'all got to unlearn it's because you've been taught things improperly. And because you've also been taught that tradition is a good thing, you don't like to pick things apart. Your religion has taught you not to pick things apart, to just take them as is. This is a control tactic. I hope I explained that. So that's why when I was listening to his interview, I'm listening to the way he's talking to her, the things he's saying. It's not just the interview. It's the way he's handling her in the interview. Red flags all over the place, right? Taking this moment when she's acknowledging the truth of black people's experience and saying they need therapy to help them deal with those things because we have not had the luxury. He tries to make it seem like she's shading black people, stops her from talking. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you shade, you shade black people. We're not like. Is she shading black people or are you trying to make her look bad? Because you, you you're upset that she's smart and you wanted her to come here like some ignorant, you know, uh, loud degenerate woman who can't complete her sentences. Masika is one of those women whose diction works on niggas nerves. They want so badly to be able to treat her like she's some stupid hoe and she's not. And they hate that. They hate that. This man hates the fact that she is not some stupid, young, gullible hoe that can be talked to and manipulated and handled any kind of way. And you can tell because throughout the entire interview, he's trying to piss her off. That's He's trying to upset her. That's why he questioned if she was talking bad about black people. This is also so that you can have a, a, little, a little moment that you can cut up and, and place on the internet to make it seem like Masika was talking bad about black people. That'll get you a whole bunch of engagement, but it'll also have everybody in her comments dragging her. Using her for clout, basically, in a disingenuous manner. All right. So Masika says abandoning, you know, talks about she starts to make excuses for black men saying that the reason why they abandoned their children now is because of slavery. And I feel like there is some truth to that. But I also feel like not really. I think there's a component of this that people don't understand. There was no nuclear family before slavery. Before slavery, people lived in tribal communities where men had certain responsibilities and women had certain responsibilities. And so, in fact, that would make all of the women spend a lot of time taking care of the children together. And the men would be, get, you know, going out and hunting or or whatever the fuck the men did, protecting, protecting the community, you know, going out and trying to take other people's, you know, areas, child. I don't know. But for the most part, in most tribal communities, because the women were the ones that had the babies, they were the ones that were primarily responsible for child child rearing. So I don't really think men were ever needed to be as responsible for their children as they are in this society now. Even if they were there, they were there for, for certain things. You know what I'm saying? To teach the boys like there's a rite of passage, right? That's why we feel like there's an age range where you give boys over to, to men because there's a rite of passage into manhood where those men leave the community of women. The boys leave the community of women and go to be with the community of men. There's a, a transfer over. OK, and there's a time for when the girls stop from being children in the community to being women in the community now responsible for more children coming into the community. So there were rites of passage for men and women in tribal society prior to slavery. There were no nuclear families where 
you know, just, you know, because in this hut, a man and woman might live in this hut. That does not mean they're the only two people responsible for their children. That's not how that works. Those two people may have been together, but they still had their jobs in the community, in their tribe. And though in those communities that those that those jobs were different. OK, those jobs were different. So men were not required to do a lot of the heavy lifting with children as they were coming up in age. Like, you know, as you're teaching them how to how to use the bathroom and clean themselves and feed themselves and, and talk. Yeah. Men weren't usually a part of that process as much, which is why innately they're kind of not a part of that process as much. Of course, there are always men that fit outside of that because we're socialized for that now. But before that wasn't that wasn't the start, the, uh, the socialization of the society for men and women to be solely responsible for their children. That's not what was happening. It was the entire community responsible and the women would be responsible for the children until the men aged, the boys aged up. And then they would go and join the men in the community whose jobs, areas and socializations were slightly different. But they should have still been being socialized by the men to work in tandem with the women and vice versa. I think what happens now is you only raise the women to work in tandem with men and you don't really teach the men to work in tandem with women. You teach the men to do whatever the fuck they want to do and just find a woman that's going to help them do whatever it is that they want to do. That, that's what y'all do now, which is different. And it's funny because the things that happen naturally in our society is even in those dynamics, like when I was growing up, even though, of course, my dad is a part of the household and all of that. My, I still fell asleep on my dad's chest. My, you know, my dad wasn't responsible for, for doing my hair and all of that type of shit. You know, the, the, the things that you do with a child, that was my mom's space. Even though he was there as a parent in the situation, I still had cousins, aunts, grandmother, you know what I'm saying? Grand, grandmothers. OK, so it wasn't just my parents. I had we had a community that my mom could rely on, that my dad could rely on, which is why that works so well. And on our family dynamic only works so well because we had a bigger family dynamic that aided in helping each other. All my mom's sisters and brothers helped each other when it came to their children. There were times when. Say my my uncle is going through a divorce with his wife. Now their kids are being split up and, and they can't afford to take care of all of them by themselves. So what happens? Some of them go over here to these family members. Like I can remember one of my boy cousins going to stay with my aunt that had, a, you know, boy sons and the girl. She comes and stays with us because it's just me in the house. You know, me and my sister, you know, like the family would help each other. But guess who is at the helm of this most of the time? The women, the aunties are the ones that say my nephew needs this. And the husband is like, OK, well, you know, bring him in. And my dad did this sometimes as well because he had one sibling. He had a sister. And if her son needed something or her son needed to stay with us at a time, he would come and stay with us. And the same as we got older with my cousin Jermaine. Like his parents were still living out of New Orleans and he was in school in New Orleans. He stayed with us until they moved out here. That's what family is supposed to do for one another. That's how the shit actually works, right? But that's still having a community that is dedicated to making sure that the kids have what they need. Y'all, we don't have that as much anymore. We do not have that as much anymore. We really, really don't. We really don't. And I think it's a lot of components of why we don't. But people really don't know what the fuck they be talking about when they say certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like men were never that responsible for taking care of children the way it is needed. But what y'all have done is that the women don't have other women or people to help them to, to make it easier for them. So then all of the responsibility goes on the man and the man does not have the tools all the time to handle all those responsibilities, which is why men always run away from their families because it's not natural for them to have to really be involved in those early years as much as this society requires them to.
that's why I feel like, you know, when, when I was thinking about having children, y'all, I was like, okay, we got my mom, his mom, we got his sister, we got, um, you know what I'm saying? Of course, me and him, you know what I mean? So I felt like we had enough people in our dynamic, which is just three women. That was really all I needed was knowing that I could that I could depend on three women to help me with my baby. And that was all I needed to know that, OK, I'll do it. But I was not going to ever like I, that was a, a thing that I thought about. You know what I'm saying? Not just the fact, oh, is Lyric going to be able to do everything? No. Are we going to have help from our family? Because that's how I experienced my upbringing. Help from family. OK, so, you know, people just talking and don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So let's continue on with the rest of what was said, because um, he asked her, how do they fix it? Like, why are you asking her? Why are you asking her how to fix this huge issue in our society? Nigga, do you have an answer for me? It's a, It was a trick. You ask her a question that you don't think she's smart enough to respond to. And when she's smart enough to respond to it, you interrupt her. You you change the course of the conversation, but you do something that is like, bitch, I don't care what you're talking about. And you switch the subject because now you're mad that she could answer something you thought she wasn't smart enough to answer. OK, but she says that her issue is she feels like one of the biggest problems is the way they glorify degeneracy through the reality shows and social media. And she's right about that. Even though she played her part in it, she's still right about it. And he asked if she's throwing slugs, you you know, because she mentioned the podcast and she was like, or he was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you are you throwing slugs at the best podcast in the world? And she was like, uh, no, I actually came here because I feel like y'all don't be on bullshit. I'm like, well, you would be mistaken, Masika. I don't know who lied. I don't know who lied to you um, because, he, you know, he obviously thought she was shading him. All right. She also kind of mentioned how when she was doing growing up hip hop that they were pretending. And I felt that I felt that growing up hip hop was not genuine, that it wasn't any it wasn't real like loving hip hop is loving hip hop would have messy producers that would just set y'all up for a fight. You know what I'm saying? Whisper something to you, whisper something to you, put y'all in a room with some alcohol fight. OK, that's loving hip hop. Growing up hip hop is going to talk to you like you're about to act out a scene as an actress because she said her and Johnny Blaze pretended to fight one another. OK. And I thought that was very interesting. And I clocked that. I was like, that makes sense. That's why I was never that entertained by growing up hip hop, because they're whenever they overproduce the show, it's boring to me. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to play the the, you know, kind of the remainder of this interview where he flips out um, because it was interesting. So let's get into it so I can I can get out of here. This music I'm journey. Just running late. I didn't want to pursue music until I could afford to, to do it my way. So now when I go to the studio, I pay for my housewives. Um, that's the only reality show that you gotta be a housewife to like really do that with somebody that they know. I am a housewife. But with somebody that they know. I, they know me. Who gives a fuck about the husband? No well, disrespect. No disrespect do. to the husband. Right, no disrespect I, to the I, husband. I don't think that they do. But half, no, they mean, don't, because half the housewives aren't uh, even married. But they make sure that it looks like that, right? Marlo was never married. No shade to Marlo. Love Marlo. But Cherie's divorced. Sense. Uh Portia was divorced. Like Needy got divorced. So this conversation was to make her feel like she wasn't good enough to be on the show that she wants to be on. It's on the show. Uh, Kim, Kim had, a, had a sugar day that never came on camera. Like, the, the title is Housewives, but, and, I mean, and this is no shade, because these, these women paved the fucking way. These are the reason why I would do these shows. So this is, this is not a jet. Most of Housewives ain't never been Housewives. I'm currently a Housewife. Like, that's not all I am, but like, so I, I honestly, if you, think, if you think about it with these shows, Housewives say I would love to stay on. Well, but, I thought that was the true definition of the meaning of the show. It's, it's a remix definition because none of them are actually, none of the none of the women are truly, well, some of them maybe, but most of those women are truly aren't the definition of housewives. That's just the title of the fucking show. So I don't like, and, and if you think about the show, it's about don't the women. Do you think that's false advertisement? Who said it's false? It's, it's a remix definition. I'm just saying, don't you, when you. When, I mean, if you, if you, you want to get down to the meat and potatoes, then sure. But who cares? Hey, Donnie. A, a show called Housewives and has no real housewives on it. Don't you feel like that's false there's, advertisement? There's no way that you're, <laughs> that, there's no way <laughs> that today that that's false <laughs> advertisement. It's like I'm watching a show that's called Housewives. How many okay? years has this show been on? And right? It has no housewives on. How many years this, has this show been in syndication? At least a decade, right? At least a decade. They have like multiple that. franchises. There's no way you were today years old sitting across from me that you just realized that 90% well, of them ain't housewives. There's no like way you, that today you realize that. Like you sell a false narrative. I mean, yes, you I'm not on the show. Happy. How I'm selling but it? It's where you it's would like to go. I'm saying I don't feel like you would 
but you did kind of tell me earlier. I'm an like, actress. I'm going to sell whatever you're going to buy. It's just I'm going to sell up. water to a whale. I'll it's, sell a fucking polar bear ice. I just ice. feel like it's fucked up because it's like it ruins the shows. How everybody. does it ruin the show when they're the number one show trending? Because it's all false narratives. And everybody loves it. People love fake shit. It's, it was called reality for a reason. It's supposed to be. It was. That's, real. that's how I fucked up because I, I thought that... <laughs> it was going to be real shit. That's how I fucked up. When I realized that the only thing real about it is they really trying to fuck you over. The, once you realize the game, you can master it. Okay. The, these shows work because people love bullshit. So they love to be lied that's to. That's why I asked you. If you know this, why wouldn't you go on something like Baddies? I mean, shit. It because don't I'm not about to be subjected to yeah, walking in a scene bitches. where bitches like, my just is fight. I'm a pretty yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, I want to break fight. a goddamn nail. And that and, and, so, and to be clear, y'all, Masika wasn't even really on Love and Hip Hop for that long, y'all. I think Masika did two seasons. I think she might have did one season. Oh, then that shit happened with Young Berg and they got a domestic violence situation. They broke up. She didn't come back. She waited a little while, came back for like one or two, one or two seasons and fought with Hazel E. And then she left again. But she always kind of had a vibe about herself that she felt like she was above doing love and hip hop, even though she was on it. So the vibe she's in now really makes sense. I think she's finally in a place where she can back up the, the fact that I don't need to do that anymore. I don't need, of course, why, I was on Love & Hip Hop when it was really good. Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. Why would I go be on Baddies? To be honest, I think that's hustling backwards. I think Baddies is for girls who are new and don't really have um, any real celebrity like that. And I think the girls like Suki and them are going on them shows because Zeus is now in a, in a place to pay them very well for their celebrity. But outside of that, a girl like Masika who has like long term vision of herself she would be hustling backwards to go on baddies on some like at the end of the day like i get crazy like don't don't bitch don't touch me That's i don't want to fight right like i don't want to fight i don't want to fight sweetheart but if i have to like i'm a i'm a i'm a they might you. not fuck with you. Shit, they might not. not say but like, that I, that's not me. Like, like, I'm a, I'm a pretty. So he's trying to like mentally convince her to be okay with something she's not okay with. Red flag. I'm a pretty girl. Like, 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 and they might. They but might like, at the end of the day, these bitches are trying to figure out how to get camera time. Yeah. And if they know I'm gonna get camera time, if I just start. What, I, what if you are the version that Tommy should have been coming in the house? I don't care. You know. I don't care. Like so I'm, I'm, I have version, daughters. Like, exactly. I have daughters. So you have a better understanding to what really. But be that's going the thing. I don't have time women. to sit on camera and talk to unfathered bitches about why they acting Ooh, like niggas. Yeah, I don't have time for that that's because on camera part. you got a certain Spicy. amount of time to do. He <laughs> like that. He liked the fact that I don't have time to to you know try to hold up. Let to get camera time. Yeah. And if they know I'm gonna get camera time if I just start. What, I, what if you are the version that Tommy should have been coming in the house? I don't care. You know? I don't care. Like, so I'm, I'm, I have daughters. Like should have, exactly. I have daughters. So you have a better understanding to what really but that's going the thing. on. I don't have... Young... This is pimp shit right here. Like, this is pimp shit. She don't want to do it. Why are you trying to, like, make fetch happen? What's the point of that? I'm to sit on camera and talk to unfathered bitches about why they acting Ooh. like niggas. Unfathered bitches? Like, I don't have time to talk to unfathered bitches about why they acting like niggas. Her getting slightly frustrated with him and then, you know, being blunt with her words like that. Cause I mean, I don't disagree with her. That's exactly what's going on over there. Um, but it's not because <laughs> it's not really because they're unfathered because to be honest, being fathered does not mean you won't be masculine. Hi. Um, but honestly, the degeneracy is what she's talking about, but doesn't necessarily, you know, isn't using those words to say it. Cause I won't say she doesn't have the vocabulary. Cause I know she does, but yeah, right. Because she was harsh with her words towards women, he was then able to try to use that. He liked that moment because pimp mentality is looking for moments to make it seem as if she's pedestalizing herself. It's trying to create triangulation. The pimp shit is to make one woman think, yeah, she thinks she better than you. She thinks she better than you. And then to tell that woman, ah, you think you better than somebody. You think you better than somebody. That's always where their head is. And it's because they're insecure and they really see you being great or being whatever good thing you are as shade to them. That's how they think. So that's why they're always telling the girls that shit. Oh, you think you better than somebody. I can be better than baddies. I can. I think that's okay. Oh, time for that because on camera you got a certain spicy. amount of time to do what you you know what i'm saying like they don't off spicy. camera off camera it might make sense but i know you got this period of time trying to get as much camera time as you as you can it try to get you. You brought it out. It was I'm just saying, it I don't have time. Your, I don't have time. I got a daddy. I got a like, look, and I, your true thoughts trying to act like this whole time she been pump faking or something. 
mother. My parents yeah. been there for 43 years. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And regardless of like whether I didn't agree with everything they did, they did everything they could. You know what I'm saying? Like my, my father didn't let me open doors. My father didn't let me take out trash. Yeah. My father made sure like I always Maybe walked on the inside of the street. Other women that and you got to tell niggas this because they really try to always condescend women, like try to degrade women and put that, oh, you didn't have a daddy. That's why you like this, which is such bullshit. It makes the men seem more valuable in the process than they really are. So it's like saying a man left you. That's why you're fucked up, but won't admit that a man being abusive or mistreating you is may, may also be a reason why you're fucked up. Who hurt you? Nigga, are you really going to like say that as if, if I say niggas is a lie? Like, did have that to show and, and, and again that's not right. my, my and that it's my ministry is not to do that on these that. type of shows and, and i get that on these type of shows it, it seems like it's much needed it, it is which is why i've are, created my own show and not even and i'll get to that but like not even to pinpoint nothing on baddies or nobody but just like it's gotten like that on a lot of these shows yeah His yeah voice is annoying like, to me and it seems like in some department it's needed because it does create a true balance right? what's no, needed not. just that balance of Somebody be like, like you said, there's a lot of people. To me, it sounded like he was saying we need a balance of shit like baddies on TV. And I don't feel like that's a balance that's required. I don't. I don't. Like a lot of oh, okay. fatherless bitches, as I quote, right? Yeah. So and maybe again, they ooh, I love the way he used her saying it as a way for him to then say it as if when he said it, it wasn't even it was so malicious. It was malicious. It was like, oh, look, she gave me the 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 you know the okay to talk to these women disrespectfully now i'm gonna say that the reason why i'm speaking disrespectfully is because she said it first as if when a man says it it doesn't feel different than when a woman says it and i'm just saying like not to say that it sounded different when she said it but that's the mindset behind what he just did it that is not an around. insult to the women because no. it wasn't but your it choice was a little bit. Yeah. no 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 it wasn't your choice you're a product of your environment yeah. like who can fault someone for not having a daddy? Did you make the nigga leave? No, but that's maybe, not their fault. But, but you don't even re right. Something. You see how he went to straight like put words in her mouth. Chicks that have had that right, so they can see right. A person only can. He's still trying to sell her on how her appearance on baddies is supposed to be good for other women. Child by do what they learn. Exactly. They don't just think it by themselves. Exactly. It's but, not a light bulb that goes but off. They got to see. When you somewhere. go to school, you go there to learn, right? When you go to concert, you don't go there to learn. So I'm not going to go on a show that's made for fighting and try to educate a bitch. She's okay. not there to learn. Right. And and, and I'm at, there's no capacity for me to be at a concert that's loud. So uh, the, the, Dewey, the the square root of pi is 4.3. You're, you're there to have a okay. rave. You're there to scream. Like you're, there to, you're there to... So I'm not about to walk up into a fucking shit show in a boxing ring talking about, okay, let's talk about your daddy issues. But look, but that's why there's You're only, there to fight. But see, but that's, why I, but that's why I always notice that there's only a couple, maybe one to none, that only pass through that door of superstar movements. Because of that, the, the of Cardi B's, the Dreas, the Nene Leaks. There's only a few. There's not a lot that there's comes the door. It's because but they don't do it. Same type of mentality of like. But they don't do it to be Mother Teresa. The fuck is you talking about? They do it because they have a, a need to succeed. I'm not there to teach none of these bitches. I don't give a fuck. Even if I do know the knowledge, even if I do got the keys, I'm not here to teach this bitch because I'm a treat. I'm here like to get what I got to get. OK, do you hear how he's trying to malign her in this moment? Oh, so because she won't put herself in harm's way on baddies to be a teacher, which is some shit you've made up because she's not willing to put herself in harm's way to be a teacher on baddies. You're now trying to. Make it seem like she's some woman that don't give a fuck about other women because she won't give them the game. That's and move cool the fuck on. Us. It is cool. It is very cool. It is very cool because guess what you won't do? You're not going to kill yourself trying to save somebody that wants to drown. No, but you know what? If you can help and you see you can say something, words to say words cost nothing. So, so maybe a bit of energy, so, but shit, we okay. spend energy towards So back, back in your previous life, life, did you tell these bitches that they're, th that they're throwing away their life? Throw away whose life? Back in your previous life, okay. or your previous career, uh -huh. Did know. you tell these bitches that you was hoeing out? Baby, Come don't on. sell your pussy. Come on. Is that throwing the rights away? You should have. You should have said, baby, not, you have more listen, value. Listen, don't listen, sell your pussy and bring me your money. But you did it. Because, it. because they weren't there to learn. They were there to turn tricks with and make money. Let me tell you something. So why the I'll fuck be, should I be better than you? Comment, hey, comment. Come on. I'm going to tell you this, baby. See, me Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. She clocked you. She clocked you and flipped it on you. And now you mad and you want to try to act like she's heightened. When y'all been talking at the same level the whole time. So now he going to switch it up. Because he's been, you know, that was a gotcha right there. They gave it to me. I never had to go sit there and do any of that. I got well, to sit there and do it. I'm just telling you, baby, you don't have to do anything. Exactly. But if it's a certain type of knowledge, I'm going to still give the bitch the knowledge. Shit, if that's what she's already but doing. But you're still going to say, bitch, run me my money. 
That don't got nothing to do with bread. It do. That's common sense that you're giving people. It do. That's common sense. That but you're again, you don't have to give people common sense. So I don't even know what he's talking about at this point. I'm not, not going to go in the lion's den. I'm not going to go in the lion's den. learning that you're giving them. Like, hey, you got to pay a fee. Who, who is he talking to? to Listen, get this I ain't a school That's teacher. That's fucking basic knowledge. I'm a school teacher. I ain't a school teacher. around the people. But that's pay- is it her fault? Like, we should pay. You should. You should do that. That's around on a different retarded. platform. That's I do. Why, but that's why we're retarded. It's because we're not willing to share that or process that. With I each share it all day, every day. Oh, I love this. I love this. She's responsible. That's the I share it all day, right now, every day. I'm not going to go on a show go, for fucking the show. I don't give a fuck where you go. You should always be willing to spread knowledge. That's ridiculous. I don't give a fuck where you that's, go. And that's, that's ridiculous. Where that's ridiculous. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. Where we fuck. Look, look. He's trying to have a, a fucking Martin Luther the King moment. Sounds stupid as hell. That's, you don't do that. That's where we you ain't gonna do it. I always do. Even if they come off aggressive, I'm always trying to give some game. Whether they reciprocate the way what? they're supposed you to. You can pick and choose what like doors you matter. go through. I'm not going somewhere. Oh, no, you're not giving game. You're not giving game. You're manipulating. You make the girls think you're telling them that you ain't supposed to be telling them or giving them some game. But really, you're manipulating them. You're telling them what you want them to know to shape their mind in order to do whatever it is you want them to do, which is how this conversation has been going the entire time. Where I don't feel welcome to try to be welcome. It's not That's about ridiculous. that. It's not about it is, that. Why the, the fuck do I need to go on baddies to educate with. some bitches that want to fight? It, why the fuck do I need to do that? That's for just retarded. You don't have to, but you exactly. just coming in there. That's blessings. Doing that type yeah, of and shit is still guess being what? a blessing. Guess what? I am a blessing. And when I realized that my no was stronger than my yes, I became more powerful. So right? fuck no. I ain't doing no damn shit that's beneath Absolutely. me to try to educate some people that don't want to fucking learn. Because, because that's a waste of my time and energy when I have world, children to educate. And on right. my platforms, it's not world, for fighting. That's where I do it. I'm not going to go in the boxing ring and try to make people your eat world, baby, vegan food. That's retarded. beneath you. That's why. And I, You I, heard I, that, huh? You heard that, huh? She said baddies is beneath her, which I feel like. It is. Baddies should be beneath most of us. I I feel like baddies, baddies should be like, it's fighting for your paycheck should be beneath you at some point in your life. At some point in your life, fighting, physically fighting for your paycheck when you are only being exploited and you ain't being paid Floyd Mayweather money and he's still being exploited. At the end of the day, like that is beneath like yeah it is it absolutely is and guess what i don't give a fuck whose feelings that hurts if it hurts your feelings you should stand up so it will be beneath you as well it were y'all mixture i don't know what you're talking about i'm not i'm not i'm not saying i'm not saying anybody's beneath me i'm saying i'm saying i'm not going into the lion's den dressed in meat and thinking that mm-hmm. someone's gonna listen to me, all they want to do. It, Nobody I, said that. That's a lion's den. I'm not going in covered in fucking meat truth, and tell people, wait, 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 lions. Look, so he's not even listening. He ain't listening. Lions, wait, wait. She listen don't to me. want that. I don't. She want to know more than them bitches. You sound she crazy. Wanna, no, no, no. She want to know more than them. She thinks she better. What I told y'all. Get I off. do know more. You want to take a sideways steamy shit? Yep. You want to sit if there? If I went on that, no, no. But that's what you want me to say. You want me to take a shit on these women so you can get off on it. It's reverse psychology. I got show, the whole I loaf of bread. If I went on that I show, that is what I would want to do. My bitches on that show be taking me. You know what? You're mad because I'm not. Mad. I'm not letting you no. try and get me out of my point. I'm not mad. You are. No. You're aggressive. Maybe I'm not. There's absolutely yeah. no reason in, in, in heaven, me. hell, or earth. I'm just asking. No reason in heaven, hell, or earth for me to go do some dumb ass shit to try to it's educate me. I would be a dumb bitch. Dumb. I'd be a dumb, dumb bitch walking dumb. into a fucking a, a boxing match it's trying to dumb. get everybody to sing him. And she, and she keeps saying I would that's stupid. I would be dumb. She's trying to let him know how dumb he sounds. Meaning you sound stupid. Meaning you stupid, nigga. You're dumb. And that's why he's getting upset. The real you right here. That's stupid. That's dumb as fuck. Look, that's this the real you. As if she's been hiding something. As if she's been hiding something. That's another tactic to act as if a woman has been manipulating you, and now you see the real her. Ciao. I mean, so that's why I left Love and Hip Hop. Because at bitches. the end of the day, yeah, I have daughters that are going to be looking at me. Just as crazy as them bitches. That's why I said I feel like it's a perfect fit. Well, you know what? Not if you feel like that, then you go fucking get some of them bitches that you used to pay. I have no idea what the point was. Because you talking like you talking like you talking like this is what. Listen, this is what you're into now, and I'm not going to say what you say because to you, that's a personal jab. I'm just talking about you. It's not what I'm into. Already been into. You're in a reality TV. No, baby, you said this is what I'm into right now. I quit. I quit in 2017. What is the year? 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 What is
year? So be honest. What is the year? Oh, he been mad since she clocked that pimp shit. Past what year are we in? We're in your present. What year are we in? Hey, 2023. You do, no, you, you said do. this is what I meant to. I quit what in 2017. Do do? Don't you do reality TV? What year is it? You know you on some What year is it? 2023. I quit in 2017. So, but this is what you said. You said this is what I currently do. What is the year? Can you do math? That was six years ago. It don't matter. You said this is what I currently do. No, this is what you think I do. You want to go. How you telling me that's all I know you asked? Not for That's your fault. That's, no, your, that's fault. your fault. No, it's not your. You no, it's not my fault. Job. I do a great job, which is why I, I make millions off of the stock market, honey. Millions off the stock market. Exactly. You wouldn't even need it, music. You wouldn't. No, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I want it. Music takes away from your. I don't need it. I want it. I love it. I love it. You are because I love it. Exactly. This how niggas be. This how niggas be. Just, just running their fucking mouth. Just running their mouth, not saying nothing that makes sense. And like I, and like I said, I waited. I waited until I was a rich. Yes, nice. bitch, to be hey, able to do everything that I wanted to do. The shit, I love this. I lo- got, I, what's your sign, honey? The rose what's your sign, baby? What's your, no, head. babe, the rose got to you. No, you got babe popping out your neck. I asked you a couple questions. Like, and you, oh, you I mad. I asked you a couple questions. I love it. What's your sign? You see me mad or another podcast. What's your sign? Virgo. Virgo. Yes. I wouldn't even answer your question if I was Okay, so you see how when she said, what's your sign, baby? What's your sign? What's your sign? You know what that is? That's letting you know that you're doing all of this shit, but as soon as I get sweet, your ass get weak. So shut the fuck up. That's what that was. Mm. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm. Okay. And look, he know that. He know that. He know that because he know the game. So he still fell for it in that moment. But that's why he had to pop out of it so quick. But he fell for it. Answer why you so, why you so, why this you so like. me, baby. Why We're you in so... a tank. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the motherfucking world. Anyway. I'm going to let you ramble on for the longest round this motherfucker. But I'm just letting you know, baby. He been rambling. I got the bigger microphone. And I'm just letting you know. You off have the bigger microphone. This is your show. Off the Actually, y'all, uh, microphones are the same size. And her voice is way clearer than yours because of her diction and the 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 level that her voice is at. Yours being deeper makes sure it's harder to hear. And also your raspiness and just overall throwing up of words out of anger. This is still what you do. It's your show. You still shop yourself around like that. Reality TV reality is not TV. what I do. You and even if it is, them, I create my own show. Why would I want to? Them, you shouldn't have to. You Why would I want to? Spread love and peace. You sound crazy. I know I do. Because you're going to go in there and you spread, sound, hey, hey, you, Johnny. No, I ain't going to go in there at hey, all. Johnny. I ain't going out. That's why they have a VIP the section tank. with VIP no ropes, jumper. and they don't Sharp let certain people pass the ropes. That's why ain't certain no people don't get past the VIP ropes. I'm not going. I'm not doing. I'm not jumping in the crowd. I'm not crowd. Shoot I'm, not jump, I'm on the stage for the reason. Well, if you, I'm on the stage for a reason. No, you be playing. No, you playing. You play yourself. You so mad. Listen, you can get in that motherfucking camera all you motherfucking want. I said what the fuck I said. I ain't playing a motherfucking thing. Only thing I play is the piano, and I ain't even that good at it. How, what, did you pour something else in that cup? Well, that's why I'm a millionaire, baby. Off, off of everything else, and that's why I, and that's why I paid to quit, and that's why I paid to get out of the contract. No, I came, I came on here because. Be, why are you off camera talking? Are you, are you that mad? Are you that mad? You are mad. You, you got veins popping up. You got veins popping up. You must be mixed. You turning red. You are you mixed? Are you mixed? Are you mixed? Okay, I can tell because you, you turn the red. You turn the red. You know why she asked if he missed, right? Mm-hmm. You got that white, white mama. You. you got that white, white mama ass nigga. And I said what the fuck I said. And I said what the fuck I said. And I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to sit like a lady. I'm going to keep sitting like a lady. I'm going to keep sitting like a lady. I'm going to say what I say. And I'm not going to stand up. I'm going to keep sitting. I'm going to keep sitting in my Balenciaga shoes and my Balenciaga skirt. I'm going to keep sitting looking pretty. I'm going to keep sitting looking pretty. And you're going to act shitty. I don't act, baby. I, I'm, a, I, I'm, a, I'm a queen, honey. Nah, that's what that's what you do. That's what you do. That's what I did. That's what I did. You don't know the year. It is twenty twenty three. You want to you want to dump the dive in twenty seventeen. You and you do that. You sound crazy. You sound really crazy. You sound really crazy. You sound crazy. I didn't say you are crazy. I said you sound crazy. You sound crazy though. You sound crazy. You sound crazy. Are you gonna sit down? Or are you walking out? Are you gonna sit down? Or are you walking out? So they close out, motherfucker. Do your goddamn job. Close the fuck out. Close the fuck out. Close the fuck out. You didn't close out. You just got up. Honey, you didn't close out. Your job is to close out. You just got to be walked out. You're still talking off camera. You're still talking off camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely giving big white mama energy, y'all. But I had to come to y'all and show y'all that because I was just like, look how these niggas be telling on themselves. That whole time, y'all, he was trying to use that pimp 101 bullshit on her and it wasn't working. 
it was not working. And it's so funny because her and his argument is so reminiscent of conversations I've had with men before that I was like, damn, they really be employing all of these same stupid ass fucking tactics. It's insane. But anyway, y'all, I got to go. I got to go. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all know, send me topics, send me stuff, okay? Um, but I, I got to go. I'll hit y'all up and, you know, let y'all know how everything went. You know, maybe we'll go live. We'll see. Um, but y'all have a good rest of y'all day. I love you guys. <laughs>